it's Tuesday, October 29th, and it's a winter wonderland after our first snow here in Iowa. It feels great to be out in this weather. It's high pressure. It's like 30.3 almost. Clear blue skies. The actual temperature is 25. It feels like 21. We got a really light north northwest wind. And we're uh, back in here on this Sherman farm. We've had one little buck work up the farm lane and otherwise it's been quiet, but I imagine the movement's gonna be uh, a little bit later as they work their way back in there from the ag fields. about nine o'clock and we just are having our first little break in the action shortly after that first interview the movement into this bedding area started and it's been very consistent we've seen five or six different does and probably five or six different bucks the best of which is a, a nine point I think he's a four-year-old I need to look at the pictures but pretty nice nine worked his way on top of the ridge there and then he kind of went back into the ravine and then we have a mature short tined eight point that's been running all around and he just came in pretty close and a bunch of other smaller bucks so unfortunately off to my left there's uh we, our visibility is not very good from this tree oh i see it now it's a buck Thank you. 
the parade continues. Conditions are perfect. Got my fingers crossed that Sherman shows up. We're back to the truck, it's about 10.30. Overall, it was a great sit, lots of good rut activity. We had steady action all morning long. I think we saw about 10 bucks and six or seven does, two four-year-olds. So it's pretty nice to see that kind of activity. The conditions were perfect and it's really nice with all the snow on the ground. Um, this afternoon, I don't know if I'll get out. If I do, I'll certainly bring it to you guys on the blog. Otherwise, I'm working the next two days and uh, I've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. So. We'll certainly be coming back after Sherman and I may make a hunt or two in the urban zone and uh, see what we can find over there. Real Trees Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cuddyback, Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, and Realtree. Well, it's Tuesday, October 29th, about 4.45 in the afternoon. And despite needing to get some work done, Jake and I decided to make a hunt this afternoon after Sherman, since the conditions are good. We hunted on the other side of this block of timber this morning and had a great hunt. Saw 10 bucks or so, lots of activity. And tonight we're back on the rye field side of it. Uh, Last night we hunted across the rye. Today we went ahead and made the move a little aggressive, got in the edge of this timber. He's been on this camera, on this tree on the edge of the rye, five out of the last 10 days or so. And I think he's using a, a main trail right here, just, just to the north of us. So we have a northeast wind. We're cutting off this back corner of the timber and uh, a portion of the rye field, but we'll see how the activity is. We had two little fawns bedded in the grass right here when we walked up and haven't seen any other deer yet. I imagine activity will pick up here pretty soon. We just got back to the truck and uh, overall it was a pretty slow night despite the good conditions. In that last 30 minutes, deer started filtering out into the rye field. We ended up seeing seven or eight does and one three and a half year old buck after camera light. The same one we had filmed yesterday morning, the five by three. Sherman was a no show. And in fact, we didn't have any deer filter through that edge of the timber we were set up in. I am working the next two days. Uh, so we're gonna take a little break and then we'll be back out Friday. And my plan is to, as I mentioned earlier in the day, I'm gonna get some hunts in on the urban zone and then be hunting this farm and just continue trying to work uh, at patterning Sherman and hopefully catching up with him soon. <laughs> 